Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org with SiliconANGLE TV's wall-to-wall -wall coverage of HP Discover here in Las Vegas. We're going to talk a little bit about networking here. And we've got a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, it was actually four weeks ago, here in Vegas, uh, Interop was going on. Big cloud and networking show. Uh, those in the industry will be familiar. Uh, Interop has been one of the key networking shows. Uh, and HP had an, had an announcement uh, a, a new kind of strategic partnership with F5, and we're going to dig into that today. So okay, we've right. got uh, Jeff Cable from HP Networking Thanks. and Jeff Sathatis right. uh, fr from F5 here to talk, talk to us. So gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for Thank having us. So, so it's a first time for both of these guys on here, so just <laughs> to, for those that don't know, yep. uh, theCUBE is where we try to find you know, the, the, the brightest people out there, try to extract the signal from the noise, and, and share with our community uh, what's going on. So okay. in the networking space, you know, F5, you know, really, you know, understands the application space. So, you know, I, I'm a traditional infrastructure guy. I, I spend more of my time around kind of layer two, layer three. You know, I can talk cabling for an hour if you want, but when, when you get up to, you know, the load balancers, firewalls, really understanding the application, how that works in the network, that's really, you know, F5 sweet space. So, Absolutely. Jeff, could you just uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you, what you do for F5? Absolutely. I so I, I'm a solution okay. architect with F5, and what I do is basically develop solutions with HP uh, and things that we can take to market for both uh, services and solutions. Uh, anything integrated worldwide uh, within all of the business units of HP, uh, I focus on uh, moving those forward. Okay, uh, and, and, and Jeff, you're with the HP Networking Group. What, what's, yes. what's your focus? Uh, I'm a global product manager for HP, and uh, my focus is on data center switching architecture, so data center top of rack switches, anything that really is the uh, the data center edge products really fall under my jurisdiction. Okay, and yeah. can you give us kind of the you know short and sweet? What what is this announcement that you guys made about a month um, ago? Basically, what we've part what we've done is we looked at our portfolio inside of HP, and we realized that we have a lot of you know layer two and layer three you know solutions, but we really didn't have that complete portfolio solution set. So we decided to to search and look to find who is the best of the best to partner with, and we you know came up with F5. Um, F5 is the industry leader in layer four through seven services, and um, really it was just a natural fit for us to bring us you know to, to bring us together and create solutions and then make sure we have this uh, okay. partnership. Okay, and, and you know what what what. Give us a little bit of the meat on the bone. You know, what mm -hmm. is is this just you know kind of a statement of direction, or are, are there any solutions available today? Um, we're, we're working heavily with F5 to help develop um, validated solution sets. Basically, taking um, different validated application solutions, such as an Exchange solution or a uh, um, VMware solution, and having. HP ratified solutions. We've also put together our services portfolio, um, trained up our people to make sure that we can support, install, and, and completely validate, um, provide a validated solution to our customers. And then in addition, we're doing co-development as far as integrating F5 into our intelligent management center management solution, um, making sure that we have hooks into the APIs for F5 in order to be able to manage and monitor and control. And it's really, we're tying F5, the products and the solutions, into our overall um, uh, uh, application network solution in order to be able to provide that end-to-end -end, uh, template driven uh, um, set that we're creating. Okay, uh, Jeff, uh, maybe you can set up for us a little bit, you know, wh what are the kind of key applications? Where where do you guys really see kind of the burning need in the marketplace that you guys are helping to, to solve in this partnership with HP? So within within F5 globally, what we find is is really anything within an application, uh, any, any area of growth application, uh, anywhere growth area within the application market. It's really where F5 is getting a lot of uh, a lot of growth. Uh, where we sit within HP Networking's portfolio is a, a nice uh, transition between the application and the networking. And so what that does is it allows our relationship uh, to help build on that, where we can focus on the applications, uh, the networking admin can focus on the network with HP Networking, and what we can do is meet in the middle between the applications and the networking, and that's really where F5 sits, and that helps simplify the network and the deployment of applications for customers. Okay, so I, I, I know virtualization is is a key piece right. here. Mm -hmm. If we looked at kind of you know at, at a high level, virtualization kind of blew up some of the original silos that we had, mm -hmm. um, and uh, a, a lot of the things that I knew how to do for an application broke when I when I virtualized the environment and. The storage industry's been fixing things, the networking industry's been fixing things, but it, it's making sure that I can really understand, you know, back up, you know, secure my application uh, is, is something we need to do. So is that, you know, one of the things that you guys are, are doing? Absolutely, and you know, as you start looking at virtualization and the, and the transition and model from, from strict hardware devices and silos of deployments of applications, that's really where where this relationship has, has been able to build on 
and we'll be able to provide that solution for customers where now you're not looking at just deploying this hardware, you're looking at rolling out uh, a networking infrastructure or an application infrastructure and then having to uh, deploy all of those parameters and each of the touch points that you would have associated with that. What we're doing is with the virtual application networks, marrying that with IAPS, which is a, a technology, a templating te technology for applications that F5 provides. Being able to provide those to customers jointly from a single source intelligent management center will really allow us to take advantage of that for our customers and allow them to deploy those applications so that if somebody wants to deploy SharePoint across their network uh, for different uh, business segments within their organization, now they can roll out SharePoint in a templated fashion and be able to deploy those instead of a matter of weeks deploying new infrastructure. They can take that virtualization model and deploy that across the network uh, seamlessly and quickly without having to touch each individual device. Great, we, we had an earlier discussion with Paul Miller on camera talking about really the right application specific pieces of converged infrastructure. Mm -hmm. and so it sounds like that ties into it. Right. Uh, the other thing at the show today, there mm -hmm. was the new announcement on converged cloud. Uh, and I think F5 is, I believe, part of that announcement. Absolutely. Could, could you give us a little bit of color on that? So, uh, not as it pertains necessarily to that announcement, um, but in general what we're doing is, is we the relationship that we have within HP overall through the cloud organization. Yep. Uh, there's a number of touch points. Uh, and we're, we're a part of each of those different touch points uh, from a cloud perspective, integrating with the different uh, HP software uh, as well as the networking piece. <coughs> uh, also with technology services, the ES organization, uh, within all of those, bringing all of those together uh, within F5 is, is a strength point for us. Yeah, yeah. Right. So Jeff, maybe you can give a little yeah. color as to how, how does the, the networking kind of span into the convergence in the cloud with, yeah. with this solution? You know, um, what's interesting is, is uh, networking traditionally has always been the plumbers, yep. you know, or the guys who connect things together. And what we've done inside of HP is we've connected um, our servers with storage, obviously networking, services, everything together in a cohesive solution set. So when we lock, talk about um, at our virtual application networks, we're putting together um, the intelligence that we have from the server guys knowing how applications work, to the networking guys to understand how it transports across the infrastructure, taking F5 and their expertise in the application optimization and the layer four through seven services and creating standardized templates for our customers to be able to use. So when we work with people in the cloud services group and we're putting together this cloud announcement, we're able to take something that's designed in the enterprise and marry that into something that's designed in the cloud and allow us to seamlessly migrate something from an enterprise to a private cloud to a public cloud or basically work together with those. So we're working on common APIs, we're working on common templates, we're working on common best practices across the board. So that's really what the value that this whole partnership brings to the table. Okay, so um, can you share with us a little bit as to you know what we can expect to see over kind of the next six, 12, 18 months? Absolutely, um, what you see today is validated solution sets. So we have solution guides, we have um, information on how to implement appropriately the different types of applications. Um, I think there was Exchange, there was uh, VMware, there was, um, I forget some of the SharePoint. others. SharePoint. SharePoint. Um, so leveraging, you know, the HP networking uh, solution as well as the F5 solution, how we how we implement that to give you the best solution based upon the size of your customer or you know of your employment. On top of that, we have a full services portfolio. So our, our TS and our ES organizations have a full services portfolio to help design and implement and support those types of solutions. And then on top of that today, we also have integration into IMC to be able to initially provide visibility into the F5 solution set, as well as some management capability. And we're going to be expanding that as we go forward. Okay. Now in the future, there's a lot of a lot of activities that we're doing as far as integration work that you know we'll, we'll be talking about at a later date. Okay, great, great. so um, we, we've actually had a couple of end user CIOs on today, and, okay. and one of the things that you, you should find heartening is when they yeah. talk about working with HP's networking, they said they feel the love from your services. They said, you know, <laughs> that they, they, they just get, you know, yeah. the phone number for the person to call, they have people there. Yep. I think it's really, you know, overlooked so much is that, you yeah. know, come on, if we talk, you know, from an Ethernet switching standpoint, everybody switches work. It's the business relationship, you know, technology is important, but the full relationships there. Right. Um, can, can you say, how, how's, you said there's some kind of cross training and field engagement. W what, what's the field going to see? Uh, from working with F5 and, and HP together? What they, what they should see is um, just the, the joint solutions that we're bringing to market, <clears throat> the ability to uh, leverage HP's expertise and see uh, basically the, the rollout and the ability to consolidate the, the, the delivery of those applications. Uh, whether it's a managed service or it's a, a customer owned uh, environment, uh, what we hope to facilitate is the ability to be able to enhance the customer's experience uh, in the delivery of those applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
that you want to add? Or? Um, one of the things that um, people don't realize is HP's been doing multi-vendor services for years. Uh, we're one of the largest outsourcing companies in the world. We have a lot of multi-vendor capabilities, um, not just within our products, but you know our services people are, you know, we've got a ton of CCIEs and other people are certified. Um, and F5 is a natural um, solution that's already been part of our portfolio. We're just formalizing that and, and really pushing it out there to, to let people know that we have that expertise. So it's really taking that to the next level and really getting our people ready to roll, you know, and, and letting our customers know about it. Great. Uh, so yeah. what what are you guys working on at the show this week? What, what are what are people coming to see? What are the biggest questions yeah. you're getting asked? So what we're focusing yeah. on is uh, the delivery of the announcement that we made at dinner off. Yeah. And so what we're doing is is continuing our efforts in evangelizing uh, the reality that uh, from a, an HP networking and F5 joint solution, we have the virtual application network and we also have the iApps. And being able to deliver those, uh, to me, are, is very visionary in terms of uh, the technology, but also from a solution perspective, will really help customers understand and, and <coughs> be able to deliver those applications uh, quickly. Right. Okay. So, yeah. um, <laughs> for, from the networking space, anything hot that, that you, you're covering this week? Uh, there's a lot going on in the networking space. I mean, between the virtual application networks and our integrated um, integrate solutions across there, we've got uh, IMC, uh, in the integrated solution with IMC, uh, talking about IPv6 and uh, what we're doing to pioneer IPv6 as far as the um, standardization of, of IPv6 readiness. Um, we have the chair of the IPv6 readiness uh, forum actually at our booth hosting the IPv6 uh, session. Um, so there's a lot of activity and a lot of buzz going on over here. So, so you touch management is obviously critical, especially in, in the networking space. You know, where is where are the tie-ins today, and you know, is there more development going on between F5 tying into uh, HP's management? Oh, absolutely. And what we're doing is. Um, as we move forward, you'll see the F5 uh, solution become a part of that extended template solution when we put together our, our, um, our virtual application networks, um, what we call our, our templates or our, our connection resource manager templates. Um, we'll have the IOPS, the ability to tie that IOPS application layer template into that and really bring it together in a seamless solution. So when I go to deploy a new server, I can say select this template and now it'll automatically deploy not only the network, but also the server and the applications. And does this tie into the cloud maps that, that HP has? It will tie into the cloud maps, yes. So it is a part of that as well, it will. Okay. Um, it's, it's kind of like a little enterprise cloud map, but the extensions are there to tie into the full-blown solution. So we'll see that soon. Okay. Great, so uh, uh, Jeff, uh, you know, how long have you been working uh, with HP on, on some of these environments? So I've been with F5 for two years, okay. and uh, my my life at, at F5 has been focused strictly on HP. So for those two years, I've I've been focused on on HP and, and really enjoyed that relationship. And just to watch the growth and the expansion of the the, the solutions that we provide, uh, it's been pretty exciting. Yeah. We're glad to have them. Excellent. So uh, we're yeah. going to have uh, lots more coverage uh, on the networking side. We've yeah. got Bethany Meyer on Great. Uh, to talk about. I'm sure we're going to talk about the virtual application network van, of course, yeah. uh, and what's going on here. Yep. Um, but uh, you know, Jeff and Jeff, uh, appreciate you know you coming in the cube. Yeah, um, thanks talking about uh, the partnership. Look forward to watching as this thing develops over time. Mm -hmm. uh, expect we'll probably see more of VMworld and uh, some of the other yeah, shows absolutely, where, where yes. this has uh, some direct applicability. Yep. Um, but uh, this is Stu Miniman uh, with Wikibon. Uh, we will be back with uh, SiliconANGLE TV's continuous coverage from HP Discover uh, after this break.